In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Welcome on this Trinity Sunday, the day when we rejoice in God's revelation to us that God is our Father, that God the Son is our Redeemer, and God the Holy Spirit who sanctifies three persons, one God whom we worship and adore. We come together in this Mass to praise God for all God's beauty, for God's wonder, for God's majesty. My dear friends in Christ, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. God our Father, you love us. You give yourself to us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. God the Son, Jesus, Saviour, you give us life through your death and resurrection. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. God the Holy Spirit, you fill us with your love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the Trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity powerful in majesty, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives 
and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, put this question to the ages that are past, that went before you from the time God created man on earth. Was there ever a word so majestic from one end of heaven to the other? Was anything ever heard? Did ever a people hear the voice of the living God speaking from the heart of the fire, as you heard it, and remain alive? Has any God ventured to take to himself one nation from the midst of another by ordeals, signs, wonders, war with mighty hand and outstretched arm by fearsome terrors? All this that the Lord your God did for you before your eyes in Egypt, Understand this today, therefore, and take it to heart. The Lord is God indeed, in heaven above, as on earth beneath, he and no other. Keep his laws and commandments as I give them to you today, so that you and your children may prosper and live long in the land that the Lord your God gives you forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Everyone moved by the Spirit is a son of God. The Spirit you received is not the Spirit of slaves bringing fear into your lives again. It is the Spirit of sons, and it makes us cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself 
and our spirit bear united witness that we are children of God. And if we are children, we are heirs as well, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ, sharing his sufferings so as to share his glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. with you and And with with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory Glory to you O lord Lord. the eleven disciples set out for galilee to the mountain where jesus had arranged to meet them when they saw him they fell down before him though some hesitated Jesus came up and spoke to them. He said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, make disciples of all the nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And teach them to observe all the commands I gave you. And know that I am with you always, yes, to the end of time. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. Zoom has been a great um, gift to us in many ways, in spite of its um, sometimes its um, challenges and technical um, technical uh, problems. But it's been a it's been a, a blessing to us during this time of pandemic, and continues to be a blessing to us because it means that we can um, still in spite of the sort of a natural existence where we've been going through and still are in some ways, you know, that we can't just go out and about and mix and and talk and um, see and and touch. So it's it's still enabled us to, to, we can see each other, you know, um, through, through, um, zoom technology we can uh, hear each other touch well <laughs> that's um that's not quite um, so easy is it um wave <laughs> the wave has uh, taken the place of that and, and in mass of course in church um the touch 
the exchanging the sign of peace, which used to um, be a handshake, a hug, a kiss, has by and large, it's become, um, but we're not doing it, are we? We're not touching in that way. Um, but we are, um, we are waving. And I was thinking, well, you know, people do naturally now in church, at that point in the mass, they wave, not just to me, of course, but to each other. And people turn round and perhaps people are more aware than ever of, of who, else has, who else has gathered at mass. More aware than just if you were hugging, kissing, shaking hands with two or three people around you. Anyway, <laughs> thanks be to God. Um, but what, what it's enabled us to do is to be more as God intends us to be. Because God intends us to be able to, to be able to um, see each other, touch each other, hear each other, speak to each other. This is all part of being human, and it's part of being created in the likeness of God. God is a God who sees, who speaks, who touches. Sees, well, yes, we do believe, don't we, that God sees everything, sees right into your heart, sees, I suppose you could say, sees right through you. So there's nothing hidden from God, that's our belief, isn't it? And God speaks. God has spoken. We have the word of God. Scripture, the Bible is, we believe, the word of God. And God spoke, well, we heard in today's first reading how God spoke. We know God spoke to Moses at the burning bush. Um, so God saw the fire, which we associate with the spirit. And God heard, uh, and, and Moses heard the voice of God. And God touches. God touches our lives. God touches our, our very hearts in so many ways. God touches us by, well, by the gift of creation, the beauty of creation. We've, we've seen on Zoom again this morning beautiful uh, images of the wonderful creation that is God's gift to us. God touches us in that way, but above all, God has touched us, touches the world by creating us in, in the image and likeness of God. And most especially by giving us God's very self in Jesus. Jesus is the word of God made flesh, the human face of God, the perfect revelation of who God is. Let's thank God, the God who sees with love and compassion, the God who speaks with love and compassion, the God who touches with love and compassion, the God who is love, who we praise and thank today. Amen. Let us profess our faith, saying together, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, 
was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As children of God moved by the Spirit, let us pray for our needs and those of the world For Pope Francis and Bishop Ralph, that through their ministry, we are assured of Jesus's abiding presence. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For the whole church, that we all play our part in making disciples of all nations. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they cooperate in actions to protect the earth, our common home. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For peace with justice in war-torn regions. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer for an end to the pandemic. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For our country, that as restrictions ease, leaders are given wisdom and people patience. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For Henry and James, who were baptised last weekend, that, as they grow, they come to know they are children of God. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For Michael Doherty and Ken Marks, who both died recently, and for all those who have died, that they may share eternally in the glory of Christ. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. Melt us, Lord. 
Lord God, hear these prayers offered on behalf of all in the power of the Holy Spirit and the name of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink blessed be god forever Pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctified by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service and by it make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them, them up to, to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for with your only begotten son and the holy spirit you are one god one lord not in the unity of a single person but in a trinity of one substance for what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. <laughs> of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and 
gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. But this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Ralph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the, the glory, glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you once again. Thank you for um, enabling us to pray the Mass together by um, zooming in from, uh, from your own home. Thank you. And the, um, the newsletter has um, details of um, one or two changes, sort of little progress um, in the um, COVID restrictions, little progress within the liturgy, um, which you can read about there. They are very small. For example, I, we haven't been saying, when we give communion, we haven't been saying to the communicant, we haven't been actually allowed saying the body of Christ and the, um, the one receiving saying amen. And we can do that now. So uh, we, uh, that is permitted. Little steps forward, I suppose, but maybe that's best, is it? Um, we don't want to be a few steps forward and many steps back, do we? We want to, um, we want the changes to be gradual, but um, hopefully um, for good, <laughs> so that we can uh, all be together. It is, it is wonderful to have more people um, gathering in church. I have to say that, and um, you know, seeing and hearing, touching well. Certainly, uh, touching, being touched in the reception of the sacraments, which are all about um, God touching us. So thanks be to God um, for the um, progress that's being made. And we pray for those in parts of the world where they're still suffering greatly, the pandemic is, 
very much there. So we um, keep them in our prayers. Um, if you would like to um, be part of the CAFOD uh, campaign, reaching out to world leaders um, to um, help in the care of creation, then do have a look online and see how you can be part of that. It's a very important part of our, um, our looking after creation and looking after each other, and especially looking after the future generations. So there's chance after the next hymn, after the final hymn, there's chance for a wave and a chant. Have a good day. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.